He's coming, laddies. Right, we've got a plan. We've got all these stalled in the loading race. They won't move. So we've brought this one back out of the trailer to try and uh, try and get some movement, but it's not working at the moment. Now he's now he's stalled. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah. Is he gonna go? These uh, these three at the back are keen as mustard, but the one at the front won't move. They keep trying to climb over him, get past him. And they won't move. We're stuck. Morning, everybody. Early start again. We're off to Bakewell Market. We've got uh, five bullocks trapped in the race. We can't get them to move. They won't win the trailer. They won't come back. Uh, the Duke's already loaded the other trailer with some cows. And uh, he's ready to roll. Bob's on driver's time. He's watching Tachograph. And, uh, but we just can't get them to move out the race. So uh, we're, we're stood still at the moment, still trying to load. And it's the 10th of June today, and it's absolutely chucking it down. It's been raining all night, heavy torrential rain now. It's about, uh, about quarter past seven, 20 past seven in the morning. And it's a miserable day and I ain't got a coat. I forgot my coat. I've got my hat, but no coat. And at this rate, it'll be dinner time before we get to market. It's just like that 70s disco dance. The shuffle. They keep moving forwards, they keep coming backwards. Now they're stuck. Twenty minutes later, we've got him to the door, Go on. but it still won't move. I don't, think, I don't think he likes the rain. Go on. These are just shoving all the time, but he won't move. Go on. What are you doing? Go At on. last, he's moved. Go we've, on. Got, we've got him moving. Go on. Right, they're all in. So, uh... that's it. We'll get washed up. And we'll we'll set off for Bakewell. And it's still raining. Look at this. Well, that's it, we're all loaded. They're all in the bike, the Duke's ready. He's gone for the paperwork and uh, we're off to Bakewell. See you when we get there. We've got Quad Bike Jane with us today. We've got uh, Moose in the bike and we've got Buzz down in the footwell. So uh, he's down there. He's down there in the footwell. That's his riding position. Let's go. This land here is uh, it's like you can rent it it's like grazing you put your cattle up here in the summer and let them roam free on the moorlands and then you have to fetch them down in the autumn and uh, I think you tender for a spot and you can rent it sort of thing so and we're not that lucky
least it stopped raining, so that's, uh, I don't need my raincoat after all. And here we are, coming into uh, Bakewell. Looks deserted. Must be the rain putting everybody off, but it is early. So, uh, the general public aren't here this early. Market goers. calves here look it almost looks like he's got glasses on that one with his black eyes some bigger ones at this side and there's a wagon just backing up there we might have some more coming out in a minute
little Dexter cow there. And calf, what did that fetch? 180. 180 pound. 180 pound for a Dexter cow and calf. £890 for a bull. Right, these are uh, these are the ones we've brought in today. These are the Dukes. £890 each. That was the Dukes. Don't know. Right, uh, everybody, we're back from Bakewell now. Uh, the Duke uh, passed his TB test, so uh, yesterday we took uh, some bullocks and a couple of cows and a couple of bulls into Bakewell Market and uh, got some good prices and... Uh, yeah, that all went well. We've passed the TB test, like I said. So today, the next task is these two. They've been in here since we got them. And now it's time to uh, set them free into the paddock. So uh, this could be interesting, trying to get these two out of here. Uh, they've tanked up on water this morning. They're just having a bit of hay, but I'm just dismantling the gate at that end. Then I'm going to try and walk them into the paddock and introduce them to electric fence which should be fun so i'm here all day so i can keep an eye on them uh this shouldn't be all right the rest of the fence the rest of the paddock's fenced uh been around and checked it so uh the only thing these two have got to look out for is the top run of the electric fence so i've only got the small fencing unit on so it's not a massive charge and uh yeah this should be all right so let's see how it goes see if we can get these in the field territory for you this isn't it
пошло. Look at this. Off they go. Here they come. There they go. Don't jump over there. That's going to get you in a minute. Right, here comes the training session now. I think it's going to touch the fence. Next one up. And here we go. There we go. One, one zap. Two zap. We'll walk away from that. That's the training session. <laughs> Don't come here. This is just as bad. Go on, go on. Go on, play. At least they found the water trough, so that's a bonus. Off you go. Buzzers keeping guard at the other side, make sure they don't go that way. They found the water trough anyway, they keep going back for a little drink and they keep touching this fence just to make sure it's still turned on. Well, they seem to have settled in. They're trying the grass. Oh, I've just, uh... whoa, whoa. Gonna fall off, eh, ain't it? <laughs> I've just been and bought this second hand crush. And it's, yeah. And it's uh, bulging on one side, so we're just going to try and flatten it with Manitou. Take the bulge out of it, because the door won't close either. <laughs> See whether we can crush this with the Manitou and just uh, get that bulge in on that bottom rail there. And then hopefully the door will shut and latch. See if we can push that down and just straighten it. Yeah. Ah, but it's twisted it now. Has it twisted it? Yeah, yeah. You want to strap round it? What's he want to do now then? Not sure. Too wide. Watch, watch Ed for coming off. Oh, it's going. 
Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to see the interaction. Right. It's gone. It's definitely moved. <laughs> no, you're alright. I can't lift it up that high. Hammer's too big. Hammer's too big. I'm bollocks after that other one. How will you jack that up? Or will it just bend this side? Bring about this side. Yeah, that's gone in. That's gone in and pushed gate across. On inside, inside to inside. Yeah, but I'd start at bottom, Bob. There, because it, it starts to go in there. There, really. You need to do it. We go the other way, don't we? Well, can we work it that way? We've got one lever on that side. We don't need to work it in there. Like that. That's it. Rest it on there. Let that let that foot. That's it. This is one told you. It works, man. Use your man. I you work it lever. I don't know how it works. Just keep working lever. Oh, you do that, dear. Well, then you hold that. I'll. Have... Is it going up or not? Yes, it's, yes, it's going up. That yes. Flying up that. Yeah, you nearly there. Making strength now. Mm. That's showing all that. Is it? That's showing that side out, no? Is it widening the wrong side? No. It's showing this bite, lad. That's your light. Ooh. Nearly had it then. What? What? He wants another one? He's going to stop there, yeah? Yeah. That's straight, really. Does what, what, need to be here then now? Well, well, door shut though. Pressure's out in it, it's not going to go anywhere. Door still won't reach though. Because it's bottomed out. Well, that door's bottomed out there, that slider, so it's still not. That one's shooting in there. Yeah. Don't know how to release Jack now. Or up, one or two. That's it. Pressure, I'm thinking, that's why. Well, well that. That is short. That that wants bending the door wants pushing down now to let that through and that you've got a quarter of an inch there and that'll go through it's what you call a flexi crush yeah a flexi crush is it what it flexes that gone yeah Mm, will this come any further, this one, or is it... Big Stilsons. Big Stilsons? What, and swing on it with a bar? Where are you going to find 18 stone round here? You don't have to look very far, do you? 
Yeah. I'm only 15 stone. It's your fin, hell, fire. Oh, look at that. 48 inch Stilson's heavy duty. Oh, we've got a bit of leverage on that, look. <laughs> just a little bit. About three metres of leverage. Alright, we're just going to try and adjust the door now a little bit. See that that's done anything. A little bit. Yeah, you need to put that corner. Don't try this at home. Right, let go. Try that, Bob. Oh, some more, it's gone back. Bit more. Oh. That might have done it. That's done it, hasn't it? That'll go, won't it? I think it will, yeah, go under that, yeah. Once that's ground off. Yeah. That's it, that'll done. We're done. It'll go under that, won't it? Just wants this this little lip grinding off here that we've we've made with hammer. Yeah. Will it knock through, Bob? We might I mean I might not get it back undone like that. Yeah, it's just that lip, innit? Yeah. Yeah, we just need to grind that lip off and it will shoot, it will go that. That's better. Yep, and uh, that's it, it's all straight now. I'm going to weld the bar across the top, get that cut off, straightened up, and then we've got the uh, latch working. Look at that. That slides in and out now, so the door opens. And locks, perfect. Lovely. Some more recycling and upscaling. Can't beat it.